Let's fix the tire. Not that one. Hey, we got a flat. Got a nail in it. It's gonna go on this guy. A little project we're working on. But uh, yeah, flat, but no worries. We'll have it right in no time. Check it out. All right, we brought her inside so we could work in the shade. Let's see what we got to do. All right, great. So we got our tools here and all we need is this wonderful deluxe tire plug kit from Slime, which I've used already. Works great. And this Fantic air pump, as well as a little set of pliers. Needle nose would have probably been better, but this will do as well as a pair of gloves. Please wear gloves. You got brake dust, you got tire crap, you got oils and all kinds of other nasty business that's packed full of chemicals and carcinogens. You don't want that on your skin. You don't want to have that in your mouth you know a lot of people are like i ain't afraid to get my hands dirty i'm gonna get my hands dirty i'm gonna wash them off a little bit maybe wipe them on my pants and then i'm gonna eat my lunch sandwich and guess what you're eating all this crap and uh, you're gonna end up with ass cancer so if you don't want the ass cancer uh, uh wear gloves okay now first step is uh, find your hole where's the leak coming from this was pretty easy this is the culprit also if the chances are okay 99 percent of the time the hole or the problem is going to be on the surface here the the surface that makes contact with the ground because it only makes sense right this is what's making contact with the ground pretty much all the time so if there's something that comes up and the tire runs over it's going to be on this plane but sometimes you hit a curb or something and then if you have a hole in the sidewall or some kind of object that went in through the sidewall your tire is done the tire is done cannot be fixed okay and even this patch is like more of a temporary thing or it's supposed to be at least but it'll hold up but sidewalls no bueno need a new tire okay so we're just gonna take this sucker out get your little pliers in there needle nose is probably better like i said but you can see boop, we ran over some kind of screw head here nail head i don't know yeah so it gave us a nice little hole there it was a very slow leak. It would take about around 24 hours for it to be completely deflated. But yeah, let's fix it. All right, now that we got this bad boy prepped and ready, let's just get her done. Here we go. We got the hole right there. If you're afraid of losing your spot where the hole is, you can get like a little paint pen or something and mark it to make sure that you don't lose where the hole is. But I mean, you're gonna do, this is such a quick thing, such a quick fix that you're probably not gonna lose your where your hole was. So you, you just gotta shove this in there real good. Give it a good shove, get it in there. <laughs> and then we, yeah, yeah. Great, so we reamed her real good. Now let's plug it up. We get this stuff, get it out of this package here, and then we're just going to slide it through the little, there. Yeah, come on, anyway, ha. Okay, right about, you know, halfway. Have it in there nice and good. And then we're gonna put a little slime on this thing. We'll slime it up a little bit in there, get us started. And then some on here, it's just like a little extra glue just to make sure that it really does seal up as good as possible. And that's about good right there. You know, don't need a ton, but here we go. Then we take this guy, go into the hole, push it down, get it in there. Nice. Oh no, we went too far. So I have a plug in there somewhere. Damn it. Try it again. This was supposed to be much simpler. So we get her in there. I'm gonna try to do it slowly this time. I don't know if that's like, I think that's in there pretty good. Hopefully, yeah. And we yank it out. And that should be good now. All right, so we got the plug in place and you see that this stuff is sticking out and we got a little bit of splooge all over the tire. What? So we're just gonna wipe the excess off of there. Excess leakage off of there and then we're gonna have to snip this extra stuff off so we're just gonna cut it with this little box cutter oh brother stuff is hard to cut anyway there we go we cut the extra off it's not perfect but it will do for now the next steppy we got a sex we got it set to 36 psi which is where i like to set my psi at it's just personal preference 35 is the standard but boom you can see we're at half battery. I've used this thing a bunch of times already without charging it. And this kind of just screws on this bit, let's see, just screws on here. If I can get it lined up, there we go. Screws right on there, just like that. As you can see, we're at zero PSI and we need to fill her up. So we just click the button again. There we go. Great, as we can see, we're at 36 PSI and it's not going down. That's a good sign. And we got these rubber bits here. Okay, so now how do we check to make sure that this isn't leaking any air? Well, we're fully pressurized, 
So that's good. And as you can see, filled it up. Still got a little bar of battery left. So this can fill up your tires, all four of your tires on a single charge if need be, and probably more. It's filled up. Let's see if there's any little air bubbles leaking out right there. All right, so I went ahead and made myself a little soapy water spray bottle. So we're gonna check to see if there's any bubbles coming out of here. We just spray it. Wait, is this open? So there we go. Spray it liberally over the area generously. Get her nice and soaking. What? Any bubbles coming out of there? Any bubbles at all? It's hard to actually see. Doesn't look like it. There's no bubbleage. We're seeing no bubbles come up. Great sign. So that means we have probably successfully sealed this. So ready to go. And I'll have the tools I used in the description. 